corner. And taking Anton Ferdinand. And uh, Niemi having to beat one of his own players. Get to the punch. Oh, my goodness! Anton Ferdinand! There's a message for West Ham and also to brother Rio. That's an astonishing goal. Oh, my word, what a goal. What a strike. It's amazing what a little bit of competition between the brothers can do. Talk about great technique and athleticism to get his body into that shape and react to that situation. And it pops up and he's swivelled round, full swivel. He's made a beautiful contact on it. It's always going away from the Amy. What a finish. And against the run of this opening chapter of tonight's story, West Ham United have the lead. Well, you never get fed up of watching this type of strike, do you? I mean, it, w it was slightly going away from the Amy, but it was the sheer pace of it that just took it past him before he could react. Just as a fullback, he's a fine all-round footballer. He can play up front, like his dad used to for Fulham. It's Benny Yoon. He looks to chip in! Well, the masterpieces are being rolled out before us here. It's another super West Ham goal, and this time it's Yossi Benayoun. Yeah, it's that little bit of quality, that little bit of class. You know, Benayoun, what a fabulous... What was the goal he scored where he twisted two ways and then drilled it bottom corner? He's done it already this season, but this is a step up from that, I think. Good play, Evanson comes inside. I think he thinks about curling it with his left foot, checks out the other side, just stands it up over the Amy. And that's a fabulous execution. Clipped to perfection. Oh, this is a great angle, just stands it up. The Amy sort of knows, I think he just knows once it leaves his foot, he's beaten. Well. West Ham leading here, courtesy of two footballing diamonds. Brilliant goals. There's a mistake there by Gabidon, and Fulham have got a goal back through Helgerson. Now that has made it interesting. <laughs> 